Hello everyone. So this is Bupesh. Welcome to my channel again. So today we'll be talking about a new topic, or you can say new playlist altogether, uh, a series on Python hack. So I'll not say this is a Python tutorial, but yeah, I'll be uh, you know picking certain important items which can be coded with the help of Python three easily, so that we can get our work done easily on our day to do exercises. So a lot of teaching in Python from scratch, but yeah, these examples will help you to you know, to do your use case pretty easily. So what we'll do in this playlist on in this today's session, we'll be installing Python three on Ubuntu box, and then we'll do the installation of PyML, you know, class or you can say the package for passing or reading the YAML files, and then we'll uh, do a couple of examples to read YAML files and print the output onto the screen. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's quickly see the the practical things of these three aspects of it. So for this, I've created a, a GitHub page so that you can follow this GitHub page uh, onto this. So let's see quickly from. So first of all, uh, I need to install Python 3 on my Ubuntu box, or you can install it on your Windows box also. But let's do it on Ubuntu. I can do it with the help of Brew which is a installation packager uh, in your Ubuntu box, or you can install it with the help of these steps. Since I will have view already on my system, I will do this. And since it is, I'll do a clear screen. I'll do, do install Python 3. So you need to run this command on your Ubuntu box and then it will install uh, Python 3. Since it is already installed, so it ran quickly. So once this is installed, then uh, your code you can simply run Python 3 and this will turn green, right? Or you can see minus V version. So you can just check the version and you can also check which Python 3 it is running from this uh, location where we are views installed. Perfect. Now we'll install this package so that this package can read your YAML file. There are a couple of ways to read your YAML file. Uh, so, but we'll do, we'll you know, pick this one, and then we'll see how it works. So, I'll pip three is again installer manager within Python three, and that will install the moment you install either with this method or with this method. Okay. So, I'm just installing uh, this py yaml using pip three. We'll copy this command yaml to step two, and then we'll run it. So, this is it is already installed. It ran quickly. Now we need to just go to that examples and then we'll first of all see the first example. Okay, what this what this is doing. So let me do a okay. I'll come here. I'm at the example folder already. Fine. So what this example is doing, we need to read this. YAML file called as first.yaml. Let me see what is the content of this first.yaml. So I'm just this easily you can find it on Google, any kind of YAML syntax. So this is the key value pair, the first one, the first variable, second variable, pi is another third variable, and these are the four variables. Now, uh, starting line number seven, we have a dictionary. Now, what is a dictionary? Dictionary is a collection of similar elements. So we have five, four elements within this dictionary, and then again, this is another dictionary. Now this dictionary is starting like this, and it has four key value pairs. And now the 16 is again another dictionary within this dictionary, and these are the values, right? So we'll read the simple YAML file using Python, and this is the simple, you know, uh, small Python code. So I'm first of all I'm importing this package into my, um, I would say, uh, working console, and this is the YAML path, the file path. So currently you can see the file path is at this location. So you can mention your any any location that you have it. So this is my file. Basically, I'm into the same folder. That's the reason. So this is first example. Now with open, what I'm doing, I'm just opening this file path basically in read-only mode. And this is an object. Now I'm object. I'm using this object. Okay. And YAML is nothing but your package. Now you can simply see how many. Uh, Functions are there with this so YAML dot save load is nothing but it is loading the file into this object. 
and what the other functions or you know things i'm just you know exploring that option that function and then i'm going to simply give the path so this will just read your yaml file and uh, see it is all very well uh, space uh, uh, indentated and uh, always give indentation to make your code readable and this is a function now uh, since this object contains the content of this yaml because it has been loaded from here to here okay and simply i'm just putting that content here right this is a very very simple program that i'm just doing it let me run this how to run this program into uh, python will come on to this read me again you run this python 3 and then the uh, name the program since it is i'm on the same directory so python 3 and i'm doing simple read py the moment i run this you will see the entire yaml file has been printed properly see so you can see this was my yaml file and this has been printed in my screen so this is a dictionary right and then uh, this is a calling word sorry this was a list actually uh, since uh, the whenever there's a hyphen like this so you need you need to understand this is a list so this was a calling word is a list you can simply check it here also and then again this is the dictionary which is a combination of multiple dictionaries so calling word is a key value pair these are okay value pairs and then partridges is again another dictionary within the xmas dictionary so just make a note whenever these kind of things are there it is a list and then the remaining other dictionary so this has been printed onto the screen this is a very simple example now let me see the another example the second dot yaml now this is the one which i need to read it now this is first dictionary this is second dictionary now under this dictionary we have um, you know two dictionaries you know one is key value pair and then the sorry one uh, nested dictionary and then this is simple key value pair now inside this we have tables dictionary now inside this we have multiple lists okay so this is the first list and inside this this is a another nested list and so on now i need to read this yaml file using a python code what i'll do i'll simply do the same thing but into different fashion now i'll just import this i'll give the path of second.yaml i'll open this and then first of all take the take this as an object okay yaml that's so that complex yaml content is an object now what i'm doing now under this object i know i want to give the server info server info is object then uh, server now everything is coming as a data structure so i'll just check what is the server so second dot yaml is here let me editor layout straight to the right fine and you can use any editor whatever you feel i mean for now you can see i've taken vs code so you can do uh, whatever you feel whichever you like so now i'm just understanding my code so in this dot server is nothing but your google.com server info and then i'm saying database database is nothing but your uh, database is another list uh, another dictionary so this will contain the database level information the table info will contain uh, database info tables database info dot tables the database info is nothing but uh, this entire piece this has been again given another object as this one table info so table info will contain this piece database info will contain this piece okay server info will contain this piece now next item i need to print this host name so what i'll do this is normal print command i'll print my host equals to server info because server info contains this piece and i'm doing server info then host see server info then host in that way we can just print the host similarly for port now this was server information why this f is there so this is the new syntax of uh, printing out strings so you can just simply do it to google or you can highlight it like this also and then understand what this uh, you know f is there's a string uh, print variable let's no let's not go into much detail so next is uh, printing the database information backslash and is printing a new line next okay now we have the database info which contains this piece okay forget about this now we are targeting this section that section now what i am saying database info then name this this is my sql will be printed name as user is database credentials and then the user see that is how it has nested this one this one and this one it will print bupesh password this one this one this one under this under this under this and password and then finally you are getting the table information so 
now table contains multiple lists so i'll run a loop for table in this table info table info was having this piece if you remember it correctly because table info was database info into, into table so database to this entire section multiple lists basically so i'm running under each list of at first loop it will have this information the table name is table dot name is table one and then second print is nothing but uh, column is equal to joining of these two columns with comma as a separator with comma and space as a separator so i'm joining these two columns with comma and separator and then printing it out and then you know finally print so let me run this and then we'll do some changes in this python 3 complex okay now you can see the same thing has been printed properly now let's do some you know changes let me comment this out let me see what will happen i want to show you so you can see the the table information hello table name and the column id title there's no extra line has been printed so i'm what i'm doing i'm just printing an extra line and then i'll just run it again so let me do one more test for in front of you since i can do like this also slash n still also do the same thing see fine so yeah this is the way we can read a yaml file so this was a very quick introduction how to first of all let me go back to my ppt again first what we have understood in this section first of all we have installed python 3 on our ubuntu box or linux box or any other box so you can install python 3 on your windows also and your vs code is easily configurable for windows also just just let me tell you so you can configure your interpreter from here so i have not installed python on my windows so that's the reason see it's just saying python is not installed because i, I don't like to work from windows I mean, but you can actually install it from windows and then vs code will pick it up automatically but i have installed on my ubuntu box and then using vs code just for you know, development purpose fine so this is how you can first of all install python and then whatever package you want to install you can install simply with two three if it is a windows and you need to install it from powershell if it is ubuntu you need to come here and then install it from you know ubuntu like pip3 okay this is done then we'll uh, doing those those two simple examples using python and then you know doing it so this was a pretty quick session on how to setting it up python on your machine and then doing a fair level of coding with the next set of videos will take some complex use cases using python and then we'll you know, make sure that we are able to code it properly we'll do a lot of complex use cases but yeah this was just a you know starter for you so don't forget to subscribe the channel if you need further videos i'll be uh, doing for something on go language also but yeah for now let's keep it pretty simple and don't forget to like subscribe the channel for more videos related to devops cloud and anything you want maybe you can post into the comment section okay thanks for now stay tuned bye bye